Welcome back to the show. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since she's been on the show. So excited to have mm-hmm. her back. You probably recognize her from Margaret's Table. It's award-winning cookbook author Margaret Dickinson. Margaret, welcome back to the so show. Good to have you here. Great to have you here. Merry Christmas and Merry happy Christmas. holidays to you. And Larry, who's watching at hey, home, Larry. your fabulous husband, Larry. And Nelson. And Nelson, and of Nelson. course. How is Nelson doing? Oh, he's days? not doing very well. This no. is our cat. Yeah. And he's 17 years old. And um, so he's not. He's getting but, up there. Yeah, but you know, he. He likes to go out. We're we're taking taking him in about two thirty now. That's getting dark because he's he's a great friendly right. cat. Right. When we're having our pro- parties, isn't this true, Derek? Yeah. I mean, he goes in one door, out oh, the other. Oh, he does. He says hi to everybody. Yeah, and people would say, "How many cats do you have?" <laughs> just the one. And just the one. He's just always around. <laughs> yes. Well, we're excited because you're part of this brand new cookbook called Homegrown, a great Canadian cookbook. How did you get involved with it, Margaret? Well, I'm a member of the Ontario Home Economics Association. I've been a member for years. And uh, I do quite a bit of fundraising for them, including, you know, sometimes we have a presentation at our house where we have uh, a cocktail uh, reception Mm -hmm. and uh, then, you know, all the funds that they have to buy tickets and the funds go to the uh, Home Economics Association. Yeah, and I do different presentations, but uh, this is actually the second book that they've published. So they've taken Ontario Home Economist members and students. Okay. And uh, uh, pulled recipes from them? Asked them for recipes. And they were submitted to uh, Marilyn Smith, and she is excellent. She's amazing. She, yeah. We've she had Marilyn is, on the show yeah. before. She is she's amazing. fabulous. Mm-hmm. And, wow, did she ever do, and her team, a terrific job of selecting recipes. Yeah. And, they're o- it's, of course, it's only Canadian food. Right. right. So, you know, no pomegranates, no dates, uh, no <laughs> lemon zest, you know, which kills me. I need lemon oh, zest. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> That's one of your favorites. Yeah. I but there are so too. many things that are native to Canada as well that we might not think of. We always think of syrup and bacon maybe, but there's so many wonderful yeah. homegrown ingredients. Yeah, so the yeah. purpose of this book is to celebrate um, our Canadian farmers and producers and also to promote the products and yeah. to encourage the consumer to buy Canadian instead of import. That's Agreed. right. Yeah. yeah. And so anyway, um, this book, I have to admit, it is really good. It's yeah, I've very, it. it's very cleverly designed. There's more than 400 pages. There's only 160 recipes, right. but 400 pages, the detail is incredible. That's and wonderful. what I like is that each home economist or each participant in this book has given her own little, or his own, but I think mm. it's all women, yeah. his <laughs> own, her <laughs> own um, idea about what the recipe includes and their philosophy. Right. Right. And uh, then they have nutritional information, oh, okay, which great. is very Excellent. valuable, yep. yeah. including calorie counts. And also uh, just information, nutrients of course, uh-huh. and also information in general. Just like today, I'm going to be using hot smoked salmon. Okay. Well, you know, like not a lot of people know that there's two types of smoked salmon. Mm-hmm. There's cold smoke, which we, we get regularly. Yes. Right. And there's also hot smoked. Okay. And so cold smoke only involves smoking. Mm-hmm. Hot smoke involves uh, heat and mm-hmm. A smoke, right? And it, the heat comes from either baking or barbecue. Now this is barbecue. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's mm. right up my alley. So, yeah. So what are we going to prepare today with with this? Okay. So um, I'm just going to do a really quick recipe. It's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Uh, perhaps Derek, you've had it at our home. I'm, I'm certain I have. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so uh, in the book, I've done it on uh, Chinese spoons, Oriental spoons. These beautiful, beautiful That's presentation. <laughs> but you can also do them in in in, a, in little pots or in martini glasses. Mm-hmm. Actually, this is a candle uh, holder. Oh, and that! Oh, so you can, you can pop it out. <laughs> yeah, but these were on sale, of course. So I took all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <Those surprise. laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do with them. But anyway, here we go. Buy what you like, and you'll yeah, use it. Yeah. Exactly. So this is my own combination because I can go down to. Um, Pelicans here in Ottawa. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. great yeah. place. And I can get seaweed, and I can get smoked salmon, and I can get caviar. Perfect. And uh, so this is lump fish caviar, but you, know, you can also get um, a seaweed caviar that's not expensive right. at all. Right. At right. Just okay. a matter of a few dollars. So what we're going to do is we're taking seaweed, and this is available in supermarkets, oh, large right. supermarkets. Mm-hmm. So uh, good for you, it too. Is. It is. Now, I sometimes find that I like to just add a little bit of uh, sesame oil, you know, to balance Oh, I love that, that flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, just to balance the flavor. So we want to make this. This is going to be an appetizer. Okay. And then uh, this is the hot smoked salmon, which uh, it comes like a salmon filling. Okay. okay. Right. And you just break it apart? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So you try to have it 
in as big as chunks as possible. Now, of course, with the hot smoked salmon, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's barbecued or baked, it's going to be, you know, drier than uh, your cold, cold right, smoke. Right. I mean, right. cold smoke is right. no cooking at all. Right. So anyways, this is hot smoked salmon. And um, then you add the sour cream. Mm -hmm. So that'll add a little bit of moisture, moisture and, yep, to it. And right. then you don't notice if it's, you know, a little bit um, uh, drier. And there's nothing in that sour cream, just sour cream. Just on sour cream, yep. yep. Okay. yep. Now, you could use low-cal, but who's right. interested in low-cal? No, I'm not. No. <laughs> you know, full flavor. It's full the flavor. holidays, Margaret. I'm, <laughs> yeah. not, I'm not eating anything low-cal. Oh, listen, Christmas. listen but you know, I use <laughs> low-cal mayonnaise, though. Oh, do so you? do yep. I, actually. And yeah. there's, there's no problem, but you know, I usually flavor my mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyway, now we're going to add caviar. This will make it so beautiful. Look yeah, and it's delicious. Now that would be wowing your guests. Right. Yeah. To serve and like that is beautiful. Yeah, and we serve, serve small plates, often Larry would serve that even as a first course. Well, that is yeah. a first course. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah the table. Oh, okay. But you know, we have small plates um, meals, and so we don't have to set a table, and it's not a late night, and we can right. have, you know, maybe eight or nine different small plates, and it's, it's quite a parade of food, and people love it. They want to, oh, yeah. what's coming next? You know, it's, <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Fun. It's true. It yeah. makes it fun yeah. for everybody. And Can I lock Nelson out of the kitchen when... The when you make that, do well, you? Well, yeah. no, <laughs> until we get, get to out, the point, <laughs> when we get to the point where there's no fish or... That's or, right. You know, Can we taste test one of these? Absolutely. Okay. Please, try that. Try please. this one here. So what I've done, I've, there. I've done it on... Ori please. Uh -huh. I've done it on oriental uh, spoons, mm. mm -hmm. and... It's very nice because it's a one bite. Mm -hmm. And so here's an empty container to catch your spoons. That's a way to do it. Yep, yep. I mean, that is delicious. You always want to have a, something. If you're mm -hmm. going to serve little oh gosh, spoons like that, good. you have to have an empty container to catch the spoons. Often, you know, you go to reception, they have a spoon, and you know, where do I put this thing? Absolutely. Where do I walk around? You don't want to put it in your wine glass. You're not going to put it in your yeah. pocket. You or know. the sticks, right? Or the chopsticks. Yeah. You with the stick. Yeah. And, you, mm -hmm. oh, exactly. do do? and then you sneak it into it like a plant or something. <laughs> I'm kidding. I would no, not no, do no, that. No, no. Well, you I'm mentioned the joking. small plates. I think that I, we love having small plates, and I know there are a lot of restaurants that are doing that. Why do you think it's so. It's it's really caught on. This, I know there's something well, you've done often. It's, diff it's different tastes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that I introduced. Maybe, well, I don't know if I introduced it, but I made made it very visible. Spoons and small plates. Mm -hmm. When I first came back to Ottawa from Indonesia in '96, right. you know, yeah. and then it's, and also um, the um, the little idea of a cocktail a dinner trois, or where you have hot and cold hors d'oeuvres, and then right. you have a canapé soup, and then you have uh, taste of desserts. And then, of course, chocolates. Of yes. course. And so, anyways, Ron Ede, someone was coming to one of our parties mm -hmm. and uh, for the first time. Mm -hmm. And so, God bless Ron Ede. Yeah. They said, Ron, Listen. how do we know when the party's over? Because it's, it's, it's a huge party, maybe 75, right. 80 people. It starts mm -hmm. at 4.30, but no end. Yeah. And this is on a Sunday afternoon, or two Sunday afternoons. So, he said, well, listen, as soon as you see the ice cream cones coming, you know you're you, done. You know, you know it's coming <laughs> to an end. And when the chocolates come, Get out. That is <laughs> That's awesome. It. I love so, it. And, and you know something? Recently, we were in Vermont at my daughter's, and she had these Tostito cups. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, for someone does, doesn't have those things or thinks that that's for fancy sure. or this is fancy, hey. That's a great idea, too. Or Tostito's cup. Where yeah. can people pick up a copy of Homegrown? Oh, you can uh, get it in local bookstores. All and, right. of course, on uh, um, Amazon. Uh, or uh, on chapters, chapters mm -hmm. online, as well. and this is another recipe, which is a, a maple Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, oh, I love delicious. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, yeah. delicious. So you no, know, it's it's really a great cookbook. It makes a wonderful Christmas gift. It really it does. Yeah, thirty nine ninety five. Now that that isn't inexpensive, but I'll tell you. Oh, it's a it's great really, gift price. You no, know, it's really yeah. worth it. Yeah, you know? oh, yeah. absolutely. But buy the first one for yourself. Oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. There you go. Margaret, thank you so You're much for so being well here. Merry Christmas to you and Larry and Nelson. Merry Christmas. I love me. You. You're going to have to get a photo with Margaret. I do. I love her. Great to see I say she's the sweet Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more right after this. Don't go anywhere. You're adorable.